Well, back to news. It's not just a busy football night that's shaping up. It's going to be a busy holiday weekend. There's concern, of course, about the spread of COVID-19, Mel. That's right. I talked with Dr. Alan Jones with UMMC about his concerns and what people can do to stay safe. Welcome back. Football is also in the forecast for tonight. It's the first big Friday of high school football. Yeah, along with the games, we've got something else going on. We've got the Battle of Yazoo. But it's not just about football. It's also about staying safe here during this pandemic. Uh, 12 News' Gary Burton is live in Yazoo County. Gary's got that story for us. Gary, what's going on up there? Yeah, it's game day, Walt. I spoke with superintendent, and he says that they, like you said, taking precautions very, very seriously. The stadium normally holds 2,000 people. Tonight, they're only expecting about 400. They also say, he also said that they, uh, at the concession stand, only are selling prepackaged goods. Everyone that is coming to the game already has their ticket. No more tickets will be sold. And so social distancing as well is another thing. Uh, just a little bit of history about this robbery. Four out of five years, um, Yazoo County has won this robbery. So, uh, they, and they have dominated pretty good. Three out, four times out of the five years, they have scored over 40 points, only allowing Yazoo City to score a total of eight points. So, Yazoo County has been running this uh, robbery pretty good. Superintendent, I had to ask him. And he said that he's going with his school, Yazoo County. Reporting in Yazoo County, I'm Gary Burton, 12 News. Back to you.